And so I said to myself, how are you going to get all that in there without any butter? Oh, hey, uh, this is a player review. And by player review, I mean player review versus episode. We do these occasionally whenever it strikes my fancy. And this weekend, well, it's not weekend. It's actually today's Wednesday, so it's the middle of the week. It's probably the opposite of a weekend. Well, for this middle of the week, we have a good team of the week because I like players who don't cost 500 million coins because I don't have 500 million coins because I don't like spending money on this game. It's a versus episode. The first player is Senior Quags, Qualiarella, my favorite player for probably the past two or three FIFAs. Maybe not favorite, but he's up there because he's fabulous. His name's Fabio. Four star, four star, medium, medium work rates, right foot. Um, this card is good and I have a lot of fun using his normal card already. So I'm happy that he got himself an inform. He does have some crazy stats when you look at something like shot power, long shots, volleys. We're using marksman, um, or actually, sorry, we're using sniper. Now he has 97 finishing. And then his agility and balance are pretty good by themselves. This boosts him up, so now he has 80 plus for agility balance. Acceleration is 78. He's not going to be the kind of person to dribble around people, but this does boost his ball control and dribbling, which was pretty low. Now it's at 89 for ball control, 88 for dribbling, and we get a composure boost as well. I think for a 35 year old man, he should have more than 81 composure. He should have 99 composure. He's seen things, he's seen wars. And it's a versus episode. He's going to play at cam, so it's not like. Striker versus striker, but allow it, please. Anyway, it's Joseph Ilicic. This is his second in form. That's why he's an 86 rated player. He also now has 97 finishing because we're using Deadeye on him. He doesn't have balance, though. Agility and acceleration is kind of low, but he does have great ball control and dribbling, so we don't need to boost that. Instead, we can focus on passing. I don't, to be honest, I don't think this is the best chem style. According to Footbin, he's like a 91 or 90 rated chem with Deadeye. But there's probably a different chem style you could use because he doesn't get a he doesn't get a strength boost, he doesn't get the composure boost, but he does have incredible long shots. So both of these guys, incredible long shots FC. This could be fun. This is the team we're using. We got Icardi, we got Vecino. It's an okay squad. This is the kind of player review that I really look forward to because they're players that you can afford. Qualiarella, he was like 14k, 14 catch-up packets. That's very affordable. Um, and then Ilicic was 38k, which is kind of high, but he is 86 rated. So. Even if you don't like him, you can use him in an SBC. We're going to get into it, an episode right now. Buy or nah, versus episode, I'm hype, drop a like, we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. Um, you can actually only watch the rest of this episode if you do subscribe, so please hit that beautiful red button. Alright, the first opponent, um, he has, okay, well... Why are you in my division? See. My face right now is Socrates' face, looking at this team. That is exactly what I'm doing on the inside. Ilicic for some reason is playing as my left back, which I don't understand, but here he is on the ball. Good pass up to Senor Quags. Senor Quags, several one-twos. Several one-twos later, Ilicic through for Qualiarella. Can he finesse it from there? Of course he can. Of course he can. What? Was it even a question? This is going to be Finesse FC episode one. That could be a new series. Finesse FC, you can only score from finesse shots. Also known as you can only play FIFA 19. Look at this, from Qualiarella. He didn't even have a great angle. He didn't even finesse it, really. He just kind of toe-poked it into oblivion. And by oblivion, I mean the upper right corner. Go back a fro-fro. Back a fro-fro. Okay. Okay. Qualiarella. Icardi. Interesting touch. Can we get it to Ilicic? Long shot city. Population. Fabinho's bald head. Come on. Get out of the way. No, oh, it's going to fall to Alon. Uh, finesse city? Is it finesse city? It's Ilicic. It's a finesse. It's a goal. I'm having fun. So much fun. I really want to get Ilicic or Qualiarella in my... I got I got gold one. If I get one of these players on my pack only road to glory, by the way, I'm going to lose my pants. I will preemptively not wear pants for that episode tomorrow. Look, it's so easy. It's so easy. The finesse is so good. No chance. Ilicic, good pass off. Go, Vecino. Ilicic is free. Is it finesse city? Population Fabinho's bald head? 
Population back of the net. That's another one. I didn't. It didn't even register as a finesse apparently, or a timed finesse, but it still went in. Um, this game is good. You would think at some point this guy would shade me to that side because I keep scoring the same goal. It has not happened yet. Oh, it's Qualirella. Is it through for Vecino? Back heel. Ilicic. Oh, what a save by Allison. That's the first thing he's done all game. Cardi. Whoa, he- whoa! This boy can jump! 4-0 and we're gonna get a rage quit. Crossfit- Crossfit! <laughs> Crossfit? Oh my gosh, I'm glad I won 4-0. Alright guys, welcome to Crossfit FC. Today, we're gonna hit this tire with a sledgehammer. <laughs> then after we're done hitting those tires, we're gonna find some bricks and punch them with our bare hands. Because this is Crossfit. All right, that was a cracking game against CrossFit FC. Um, this guy hasn't... What? What? How many coins do you have? Where did you find them? Oh, he's through with Ronaldo. How? Not, what? Why? How do you not save that? <laughs> You're right there. There's Qualirella. Looking for Ilicic. He plays it down one more. Great pass by Ilicic. It's a Vecino who scores. So, he has... Ilicic has weird passing stats because they aren't that high for a cam. Well, actually, he's a center forward, so maybe that's why. But with this, uh, I, I don't remember what chem style it is. It's plus 10 for long or for short passing. Long passing is still in the 70s, but now I believe he has 88 for short passing. Go back to Yogurt. Back to Yogurt against Pogba. The battle of the two best center mids in the game. Qualiarella dies. What? I seriously don't understand Ilicic's positioning. He's, he's playing like a, a center mid or something. Oh no. I read the pass, but I did not run in the correct area. Oh, Illichich, don't do it to- Oh! De Gea, why do you ruin birthdays and Christmases? Plays it down. Alon, I need to run. I need to run through the middle, it's a Cardi. Holds it down. Illichich, on the left foot. Do they know about his left foot? He still has it. He's done really well. It's still Illichich. Finesse time? Oh, that was going in. Here's back a yogurt into Ilicic. It's on his left foot. He's running the wrong direction, but that's fine because sometimes to get the right direction, you run the wrong direction. It's Qualiarella. I should have passed it. It how? What? Why did you do that? Halftime. Um, it's the fighting Ronaldo's two. Not stealing mother's credit card. One. Mother. Can I please borrow your credit card again? I need to buy Vaseline. Jars and jars of Vaseline. Here's Ilicic. Oh, play it wide. It's a Cardi who's through. Down for Ilicic. One more. No, I didn't need to do that extra. I should have just finessed it. I'll play it through. Great pass by a Cardi. Ilicic, don't get caught. You're super fast at running and a suave person, a lovely suave person. You gotta watch out for the left foot. Especially on a lovely swap person like this. I didn't mention the best card. Of, the best part about this card is his hair. Like ten out of ten. Look at the look at it. You don't see that every day. Mother, I need more Vaseline, please. Oi. Oi, Vecino. I am so good at this game sometimes. And then other times I'm not. No, it's Ronaldo. Good tackle, but tackles don't really matter, do they? Tackles don't matter. Oh, Hamshik. Plays it down. We want that run. It's Qualiarella making a run. Go, Quags. He's he's barely seen any of the ball. They're not ready for it. They're not ready for the fin- The pants were gone. That's all I'm gonna say. Plays it down. Qualiarella. Icardi. Come on. Now's the chance, boys. Now's the chance. It's Mario Icardi. What is 90 billion- Por que, senor? How do you miss that? It's near post. You have 90,000 finishing. All right, we're going to play another game. We're going to play a final game. I usually stop here, but I'm actually having a ton of fun, so just keep going. All right, final opponent. Hey, he doesn't have an icon and Ronaldo and a bunch of other players, but he does have the president and an old Italian man. I changed one custom tactic because Ilicic was for some reason playing like a left back at times, so I told him to stay forward and I hope he understands. Go, Ilicic. Make that run. Icardi, you better not miss this, sir. Uh, you better not. 97,000 97, finishing. Oh, wait. 
It was planned. It was calculated. It was good. Calirella gets by one. Keeps it really well. Play it wide. How somehow gets that out of his feet. The Cardi is completely free and the president stops everything with the veto. There's Ilicic. It's on his left foot. It's in the back of the net. He gets those away so quickly. He doesn't even have to. This is the thing about Ilicic. Of course he's going to be good. Of course Qualirella is going to be good. But Ilicic can finesse even when the ball isn't in the perfect position. When it's not even in the perfect angle to finesse, it still goes in. Here's Icardi. Looking for that run. It's Vecino wide. Do we see any runs being made? Can we check it back? It's the Frogert boy. It's Pagliarella. Gets on the left foot. Oh, the old Italian men. They had a chess match and Qualiarella did not win. Go, Cardi gets past one. Play it down for Qualiarella. On the left foot. He has a four star weak foot. Oh, back of Frogert. You could jump, sir. Ilicic, quick feet. Really quick feet. Left foot in the back. <laughs> How many times can this happen? Go, go, one more. It's wide for Icardi. Can you put a ball in? Back post, it's completely free. It's quality. Would have been spectacular. He was offside, I think. Go, Ilicic is through. Good first touch. Look at that speed boost. It's on the left foot. It's in the back of the net again. There's a theme going on here about finesse shots going in. Oh, he tried to, oh, did someone get addicted to crack? Did someone get addicted to crack? Half time, this is domination and I'm having so much fun. Ilicic picks out a great pass. Qualiarella plays it through. Is he gonna finish it? The question on everyone's mind, he actually does. And he got fouled. Can I get the penalty and the and one? Shoot a free throw. Oh, is he gonna leave? I'm having so much fun, please, sir. What can I do to convince you to stay? All right, three games done, kind of. Two of the opponents quit after I was thrashing them, like 4-0, 5-0. Qualiarella, three games played, only one goal scored, but two assists. He was good. Um, I like this card. The first goal he scored was really good. It was, a, it was very telling because he scored it from not an angle that normally people score from, even if they have good shooting stats. He is good, the only thing is because he's not that quick, it's kind of hard to maneuver him as a striker. I still like this card a lot. For 14k you're getting a ton of value. But the thing is with how pacey and how quick most people are and how they try to use players who can just maneuver the ball very quickly as a striker, you're not going to be able to do that with Qualiarella. I, th I would say that it was a mistake using a cardi with Qualiarella because you would la rather have someone who's fast uh, like a Lautaro Martinez, for example, or a Ronaldo uh, as a striker partner to go with Qualiarella to open up more space. Because if you have a Cardi, he's kind of in the same realm as Qualiarella, so you don't get as much room to do finesse shots. Also, Ilicic is kind of doing the same thing. Although he's a, an attacking midfielder, in this position, uh, the way he plays, the way I want him to play, he's more as a, like a, another striker. He's just right behind the two strikers. So they're playing one twos. He had six goals and two assists. Uh, he was incredible. So much fun to use. The one thing I would say, well, a couple things I would say. Balance isn't great. Of course, that's not good. It's 58, and you do notice that. But what is interesting is how well he maneuvers the ball. 91 ball control, 87 dribbling. I'm not even touching that with a chem style. But he would just move the ball however he wanted. The finishing shot power long shots combination means if he gets the shot away, it's going to go in. My concern was actually that he wasn't going to be able to get shots away because he, I thought he was going to have the Qualiarella problem where people would close him down very quickly. But he would move the ball wherever with his left foot and get a finesse shot off very easily against players who they weren't incompetent. Like it's Division 4, some of these guys are pretty good. Uh, but Ilicic was really surprising and the standout player in this episode. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention about Ilicic, the first two games I was playing him on normal settings, I wasn't changing anything about his custom tactics, and he kept ending up around the position where Bakayoko is, in between Bakio and Crescito. I don't know why, uh, so play him on stay forward if you're going to play him at cam. I would actually say you could play him as striker. What you could, I wouldn't really run both of these players at the same time because they're kind of the same type of player, just a finesse shot guru. From distance. So I would rather have, uh, if you're going to have Ilicic, play him at striker and then have a speedy cam right behind him. Uh, maybe you could play him in a one striker formation or 
Try him as a center forward, see if that works. I don't know, center forward with two really pacey wingers, like, uh, I don't know, off the top of my head, Callejon, and then a really pacey left winger. Maybe he's good there, and have a center mid who can run in behind, uh, make some deep lying runs. Whatever, I just, these players are really fun to use and they're not too expensive, so they get the seal of approval from me. And look at the hair, the hair's the number one factor. Anyway guys, that was probably the most fun episode I've had all year. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Drop a like, subscribe, comment, share to your friends. I'll see you guys later. Um, tomorrow I'm actually going to have a video where I go through the entire team of the week and you vote on who you would like to see. So stay tuned for that. See you guys later. Don't forget to spare pets.